Anyway, let's move on to the later stages of a relationship. Right. Let's say you're married. You've worked out the major disputes, like how often he has to sleep in the garage. <laughs> yeah, we're and then on that. kids come along. Then the kids grow up, and sooner or later they're ready for college. And around that time, you suddenly realize that your kid has developed a complete personality of his or her own, and he or she is entirely capable of causing big trouble. Or, as in the case of this kid, being a complete pain in somebody's butt. Just our kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I have to admit, this clip doesn't really belong in our Couples and Cars collection. No. In fact, it doesn't really belong anywhere, but we figured <laughs> this is an excuse to work it in. This, yeah. You know, Couples and Cars, sure. kids, the whole bit. I mean, we just couldn't fit this one on our last album, and we really wanted to hear it again. This became known around the office as the MIT letter. <laughs> Listen to this. This is great. John <laughs> <laughs> Long and Correspondence. Well, I, as always, I don't know who, how this got to us because it comes from 25 different people and it e ended up at, at the website. But here it is. It says, MIT certainly, has, <laughs> MIT certainly has a reputation to be proud of, but its admissions department went a little overboard, I think. The first letter is an honest-to-goodness mailing from MIT, and the second one is a prospective student's answer. So this is all legit, real true, as far as you can believe anything that comes to you. Via the web. Right. So this is the letter from MIT to a Mr. John T. Mongan of California. Dear John, you've got the grades. You've certainly got the PSAT scores, and now you've got a letter from MIT. Maybe you're surprised. Most students would be. But you're not most students, and that's exactly why I urge you to consider carefully one of the most selective universities in America. The level of potential reflected in your performance is a powerful indicator that you might well be an excellent candidate for, M for MIT. It certainly got my attention. Engineering's not for you? No problem. It may surprise you to learn that we offer more than 40 major fields of study, from architecture to brain and cognitive sciences, from economics, perhaps the best program in the country, to writing. What? Of course you don't want to be bored. Who does? Life here is tough and demanding, but it's also fun. MIT students are imaginative and creative inside and outside the classroom. You're interested in athletics? Great! MIT has more <laughs> varsity teams, 39, than most any other university and a tremendous intramural program so everybody can participate. You think we're too expensive? Don't be too sure. We've got surprises for you there, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> why, not send, why not send the enclosed information request form to find out more about this unique institution? Why not do it right now? Sincerely, Michael C. Benke, Director of Admissions. P.S. If you'd like a copy of a fun-filled, fact-filled brochure, Insight, just check the appropriate box on the form. Well, Michael C. Mike, what was this guy's name? John T. Mongan writes back. <laughs> to Michael C. Benke, MIT, Director of Admissions. <laughs> Dear Michael, he says, you've got the reputation, you've certainly got the pomposity, and now you've got a letter from John Mongan. <laughs> 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 Maybe you're surprised. Most universities would be. But you're not most universities, and that's why, and that's exactly why I urge you to carefully consider one of the most selective students in America. So selective that he will choose only one of the thousands of accredited universities in the country. The level of pomposity and lack of tact reflected in your letter is a powerful indicator that your august institution might well be a possibility for John Mongan's future education. It certainly got my attention. <laughs> Didn't this guy Benke deserve this letter back? <laughs> Don't want biochem students? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> it may surprise you to learn that my interests cover over 400 fields of study, <laughs> from semantics to limnology, from object-oriented programming, perhaps one of the youngest professionals in the country, to classical piano. What? Of course you don't want egotistical jerks. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> Who does? I am self-indulgent and overconfident, but I'm also amusing. John Mongan is funny and amusing, whether you're laughing with him or at him. You're interested in athletes? Great. John Morgan has played more sports, 47, than almost any other student, including oddball favorites such as orienteering. You think I can pay for your school? Don't be too sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've got surprises for you there, too. <laughs> Why not send a guaranteed admission? <laughs> no pencil neck geeks? No, no problem. problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough about MIT recruitment tactics.